Hi everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings and I'm going to do a really fun project today. So I have this tin. It has a lid. It just pops open. And it was from um, some tea that I purchased at Starbucks. And it came in this tin and I thought, I actually asked my husband to pick up the tea and then when he came home, I was like, what's this? And he was like, it's the tea you asked for. And so they had just were selling it like this in this tin instead of like in a box like normal. So I was like, I'm going to do something with this for Christmas because it's beautiful. So I just thought I would show you how it looks before. I'm going to take most of this paper off. I'm going to try to get most of it off. Um, I'm going to be covering it so it'll be okay if there's some on it, but I do want to get most of it off and then I also want to get um, these the, the sticker off because I don't know if I'll be um, covering the top or not and so I just want to make sure that these stickers come off. So I'm going to do that off camera and then um, as soon as I get all of this off I will come back and show you what I'm going to do next. And so what I really liked about this tin is it has like a matted finish. I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost like a matted finish instead of like a real shiny, slick finish surface. So anyways, that's what I liked. Um, that's what I really liked about it when I first saw it. So I'll be back after I get all of this off and we'll get started. Okay guys, I'm back and it was just clear that this paper was not going to come off. Um, it came off some, but then the rest of it really didn't. The little stickers on the top of the tin came off fine. They left a little bit of adhesive on there, but I just, I was able to get it off and then I just took a Clorox wipe. I always have Clorox wipes in my craft room here and I just took that and and went over it and it seemed to be fine. It seemed to come off. So I, what I did is I cut, I'm using this a little paper sack from Stampin' Up and I just took one of these out and I just kind of measured it, eyeballed it, and it ended up being about four and a quarter that I needed. So I went ahead and trimmed that down took off this little tiny, oh, that might be big. Let's see, was it four? Oh, like, I'm sorry, three and three quarters is what it ended up, what I trimmed it to. So I'm gonna end up needing three of these to cover all of it. And so what I did is I just used my ATG gun, my ATG adhesive, and I put it all on the back. And then you can see right here, it's right on a, a curved edge. And so that will lift. So you can either use sticky strip or um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a piece of packing tape over it. And I'm going to use this packing tape later on anyways. Uh, to cover it in the very end, but that will just keep that down. And then I will start this piece. I'll overlap it a tiny bit. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just covering this and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have my, this part done, okay. So I just covered it and you can see there's a little bit of tape there but I'm not gonna worry about it because I'll deal with that later. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to the lid part and I have this really fun technique we're gonna do. So I also have this stamp set. It's the clear photopolymer stamp set. It's Endless Wishes. And I'm gonna take some Versamark ink and I'm gonna take one of these snowflakes. It's already on my block. And I'm just going to put this in the Versamark. And then very gently, I'm going to bring it back over to the, my tin top. 
and I'm pressing that down in there and it is a little bit slick you have to be careful when you're working like with this metal because it will move around so I pressed that down and now I'm going to use this heat and stick powder so what's gonna happen is we're gonna put this over the Versamark we're gonna heat it up and it's gonna be really sticky So now I'm going to flip this over. No, it's not going to be perfect because this is a tin. So it's not going to be exactly perfect and stamp nice and crisp and perfect and just awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to move some of that, some of the places that powder got on there. You can blow it off a little bit and then it's not a perfect image, but that's okay. So then I'm going to put my heat and stick powder away. I should really have like a piece of, of grid paper down to do this, but I don't. So now you can see a little bit. Let me try to get it in there. There it is. So we're going to take the my heat tool and we're going to heat it up and watch it melt. And it has disappeared there it is and so we're going to take some silver glitter and this is in our holiday catalog and yes this process is a little bit messy but it's totally worth it so now we're gonna pour the glitter onto the heat and stick powder we're gonna do the same technique we're gonna flip it over we're gonna tap it off we're going to bring it up here. We're going to blow on it. We're going to bring our little paintbrush in. Get some of that extra out. The heat tool will probably blow a lot of this. That's that it didn't get on the heat and stick powder that melted. It will probably blow some of that out. So let's put our glitter away you get a ton of glitter so for $7.95 you get this silver glitter which it's a ton and then you get this gold glitter and I thought it was one of these when I saw it in the catalog I thought it was just like our normal embossing powder containers but they're these so it is doesn't say how many ounces it probably says in the catalog but it's a lot so I wanted to share a tip with you guys for these if you get these so when you get these let me wipe that up okay so when you get these you open them up and then they have this protective seal and you pull that open and then you're just gonna want to throw that away and then you're just going to grab your craft knife and if there's any of this paper stuff or stickiness on the rim of this, you're just going to clean that up and that will prevent it from sticking and being nasty and getting a bunch of glitter and stuff all on the edges of your the rim of your container. So then we'll set that aside. Okay, so now let's get back to our this so now what we're gonna do is the silver glitter is on there we're gonna take the heat tool again and we're going to melt it again so you can see I've already done it on this side I hope you can see that it's kind of hard to see so I've already done it on this side and now that I've heated that up and I've used the heat and stick powder it's not gonna come off so it's not just going to wipe off or come off. And then any of the glitter that didn't make it on that heat and stick powder, you can just wipe off. So we'll let this this one clear dry. So now I have two snowflakes on there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so let's do the rest of our tin. So I have this framelit that I cut out. It's just from the Deco framelits. And it's the um, almost the last one. So I just did that in Whisper White cardstock, and then I'm going to use this stamp set. And what I love about the photopolymer stamp sets is they are super easy to decide because they're clear and you can see right away how 
it's going to look or the placement of it. That's what I really love about them. So I'm going to use this large one. And I think maybe the small one. And then we're going to use the Christmas. I love the mixture of fonts when it's like a curly, fun, uh, cursive-y font with a... Um, just bold, very straight, basic font. So we're going to do very merry Christmas. Oops, that's one of the kids. Let me go check on that. Okay, fixed the kids. All right, so I'm going to use these and I'm going to go ahead and use Pool Party, which matches my tin. Ugh, the lighting in here is awful right now. Okay, so it matches my 10, the colors I'm going to use. And we're just going to do basically the same process. Okay, so I want to do pool party for this larger snowflake. And these snowflakes are gorgeous. And I'm going to do this kind of at an angle up top a little bit. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. I love this. Okay, so I'll clean this in a minute. So now let's go to our little snowflake. And I actually want to do the same technique that I did on the tin. I just want to do it on paper and you'll see the difference. So let's get our Versamark. All right, guys, so I just stamped the Very Merry. I stamped Very in Bermuda Bay. I wanted something a little bit darker than the pool party, so I did it in Bermuda Bay. And then Christmas is stamped in Cherry Cobbler. And then this ribbon right here is real red ribbon. It's the, um, I think this is the taffeta. Um, yet yeah, I'm not sure. Ribbon taffeta. Yeah, it's the small taffeta, um, real red ribbon. And then I just had some, uh, tool. And so I just cut that and I wrapped it all the way around and then I fanned it out and then I punched a hole. My battery is starting to die, so I'm trying to hurry through this. I punched a hole right in there and then just put it through there and tied a bow and snipped the edges really really small and then fanned it out and then I also put little rhinestones all the way around and right in the middle of that large snowflake so there's the side of it and then the top of it has the snowflakes on it
So that is my project for today. Thank you guys so much for coming by. If you want to purchase any of these items, you can do so by just clicking right up above on the screen and going right over to my website and all the information along with all the supplies that I used will be listed right there. So thank you guys so much for coming by and I hope you're enjoying 30 posts in 30 days for November. So thanks guys. I'll talk to you later.